Hello, and welcome to this video on metabisulfate use and effect. Metabisulfate is a preservative and sanitizer used in home brewing. If you are sulfur sensitive, it is listed as additive E223 in most standardized ingredient lists. Home brewers may know it by the common name of Canton tablet or KMS. It sanitizes equipment and it is used as a cleaning agent for potable water. It is also used for removing chlorine from drinking water when brewing. It generally comes in two forms. These two forms are either defined as a potassium or a sodium based unit. It uses one of these molecules to make it more readily soluble in water. Unlike how the forces of stupid and ignorance would have you believe, this is not a dangerous substance. Most fundamentally because you should and would never consume it directly in a pure form. Well, that is if you survived and learned a lesson from the Tide Challenge. This is a perfect example of the dose making the poison. The sulfates used here are generally essential for biological functions in small quantities. Its use is fairly straightforward. A relatively large amount of metabisulfate will sanitize equipment and inhibit bacteria and mold growth. To sanitize with metabisulfate, wash your bottles and equipment with soapy water. Rinse these and allow it to dry. Add 1 tablespoon of potassium based metabisulfate to 5 litres of water or 2 teaspoons in a litre of water for the sodium metabisulfates. Use this as a rinse and ensure it covers all surfaces of the equipment, ideally soaking your equipment in said water. Leave this equipment to dry, it is then ready to be used. It treats water as a strong reducing agent. Sodium metabisulfates assist in dechlorination, particularly of drinking water, and this is a useful aspect for home brewing. To use it in home brewing, add half of a Canton tablet for 20 litres of water, and leave it overnight, ideally with a light covering like a cheesecloth, and otherwise open to the air. This will allow the chemical vapour to evaporate off, leaving the water behind without as much of the chemical treatment present. Those are the two most straightforward uses in home brewing and in general use of sulfites. To use it as a stabilizing and preserving agent in brewing, there's a different approach that is necessary, and this is not a simple question to answer. There is a link in the description box below, which will give you some of the specific quantities based on the information you put in for using of metabisulfates. This website has a lot of good information and detail in it. But as an interesting point and example, industrial winemaking has roughly 20 times higher concentrations of KMS than beer does. This gives you a relative idea of how much difference there is between different applications of metabisulfates. Insofar as preserving goes, metabisulfates work by scavenging oxygen. Removing oxygen reduces the ability for most bacteria and mold to metabolize and therefore grow and multiply. It also reduces unintended chemical reactions through removing the reactive oxygen species, especially oxygen. In some cases, this is an undesirable outcome. For example, whiskey needs oxygen to have those chemical reactions to age appropriately in a barrel. However, for winemaking, it's just as likely to produce a spoiled flavor. As you can see, metabisulfates are useful for anything you're going to store for more than a year. However, most beer, cider, and small volumes Will not be kept for more than 12 months. And this is a limit, a limit from which you can safely assume that adding sulfates to your home brew will have absolutely no appreciable benefit and only incur further cost for you unnecessarily. However, if you do intend to store something for a longer period of time, and aging wines are an example of this, then metabisulfates are a good thing to use and can prove to be very beneficial and helpful. Thank you for watching this video. Please post any comments, questions or suggestions you may have below.